Good morning, world. It is 4 o'clock in the morning. 4.07 in the morning. So, all you guys on my side of the world are what? All you guys on my side of the world are what? Are sleeping? Obviously. All you, all you West Coast people in America and Canada, you guys are sleeping, obviously. It's like 1.30 around, around there where you guys are. And all you guys on the eastern side of America and Canada, it's about 4 o'clock right now. And all you guys on the other side of the world, you're either waking up or you're awake. You guys will enjoy my video. I'm only going to make a quick, like, 30-minute video, guys. I'm a little tired. And after this, I'm going to go to bed. And I'll upload it later on today when the internet goes reconnected. So I, I watch Rings of Power, and I'm on episode 7, I believe. And I think the show is okay. It's an okay show. Um, the beginning of the show was pretty good, and as, as uh, like, you know what I'm saying? As the show progressed, I, th I thought the, the show had some pacing issues. It's very slow, not much really happens in, 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 the, one, in the first couple of episodes. But I don't think the show was terrible. I think it's a pretty good show. I give it a good, like, I don't know, 6 out of 10 for the show. 5.8, 6 out of 10 shows. Not great, but it's not terrible. It's a pretty good show. The potential's there for, 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 for the show to be good. The, 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 for season two, they just got to come up with a good good story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously. I don't think the show's terrible. I think it's a pretty good show. I think Amazon did a pretty good job. It's not terrible. But it's not great. It's an, it's an okay show. Not even close to Peter Jackson's trilogy, but it's an okay show. It's not bad, you know what I'm saying? It's not bad. You know, I, I find some of the action, some of it's a little cheesy, obviously. And the story, they could have done, yeah, they could have done back. I, 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 with all the people who hate the show, I can see where they're coming from. The show is not, is not, is not great. So I'm saying it's not a great show, but it's not terrible. I don't think it's a terrible show. I think it's pretty good. It has potential to, to be pretty good, to, to, be, to be a pretty good show. Obviously. You see what I'm Yeah. Yeah, so I'm on episode 6, and I have two more episodes left. And I'll be finishing the what? I'll be finishing what? The show. In a couple days from now. Tomorrow I'll watch... Today I'll watch episode 7, and, and I might save... The, the the finale for when I get my check today or tomorrow. I get my check either today or tomorrow. I'll save the finale for, for the day I get my check. And I'll, I'll get my beer and smokes. And I'll get my nice food. I don't know, my nice slices of pizza. Or maybe Subway. And I'll watch the finale of uh, Rings of Power. I think the show's pretty good. It's not terrible, but it's not great. It's in there. All right, you think the show's terrible? No, I don't think the show's terrible. But I don't think it's great. It's not a great show. It's okay. It's pretty good. Six out of ten show. Pretty good show. The potential's there for it to be better. Obviously, they just the the, the what the, the showrunners and writers just have to come with a good story for season two. Some air. I still have two episodes left, but I'm already more than halfway into the season, and so far I think the show's pretty good, but it's not great. I I, I can see where the fans are coming from who don't like the show. I, I don't I don't like the show. Yeah, I can see where they're coming from. Slow pacing, not much happens in the first like you, you don't get you don't you don't get like a lot of action until like episode six. That's when the story picks up. Episode like five is when the story picks up a bit more. But before that it's very slow and it's very slow slow pacing, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to talk more about Zaynus for a good 30, for the remaining hour, for a good 27, 30 minutes, I'll talk more about Zaynus. Obviously, so once I pay this fee, 
I know you guys think I'm crazy. Oh, Ivan's making shit up. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys, I, I, I always know if people make fun of me. Ivan's making shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys, you know I have the keys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you lock all the doors, man. I have my own annoying, stupid keys. And what? I wrote my own book, and I own the rights to my intellectual property, and like, I have the keys, so I'm like, my billions. You guys know it. Yeah, if we know you'll make your billions, we just, we just, we just hate you so much. We, hate, we like hating on you. Ivan's making shit up. He's not going to trust guys. He's think I'm crazy. When you know I have the keys, you know I wrote my own book, I own the rights to my book. All I have to do is just pay this fee, honestly. Pay this fee and save my stupid, annoying wife. Who continues to take me for granted and what? He's fucking man and keeps crying every day. Because VJ's blind. VJ's blinded by her, the mess. She's blinded by my mental health. She's blinded by my physical health. She's completely blind. She's... I mean, how blind? VJ's so blind. Before I, before I talk more about Zane's here, VJ is so blind that she 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 only she, she she only thinks about herself honestly. She doesn't really care about me. She doesn't care about my mental health. She doesn't care about my physical health. Yeah, you know, you're crying every night. It's affecting my mental health, and it's affecting my physical health. Your mess will affect my mental health, and it'll also affect my physical health. VJ knows that. Yeah, I might know that. Yes, having the keys doesn't help either. Don't forget that. Obviously. And I mean, how do you know V doesn't care? V doesn't care. No, how I know V doesn't care. She's still fucking. She still keeps. She has. She has so many numbers on her phone. She keeps banging me on my back. That's how you know VJ's blinded by the mess. She's completely blind. And she keeps. She 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 destroys my sleep. Obviously, every night for for I don't know, for almost four years now, she's been destroying my sleep. For almost four years now, guys, V's been crying me every night, man. She's crazy, man. She's a crazy woman, yeah, man. She's blinded by the end, you know what I'm saying? She knows I have to die for her, and she, 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 so she knows I have to die for her, and she still destroys my sleep every night, man. She's crazy, honestly. I mean, why is she crazy? I don't know, man. I don't know why VJ's like this, but my guess is, the, the main reason is because she sees hell. She wants to the light, she wants to see the light badly, and she's desperate. She wants to see the light. She wants my billions off my book, and she wants to be cool with me, obviously. And she loves me, too, obviously. Uh, but, but, but even though she loves me, it's, it's, it's a twisted form of love. Because 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 she, she, you, you, when you look at VJ's actions, yeah, VJ's completely blind. She doesn't she just she, she doesn't care she doesn't care what Ivan's going through in his life. You know what I'm saying? She 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 continues to destroy his sleep every night, and she continues to fuck him behind his back. Yeah, so she, you already destroyed my 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 personal life with the relationship pretty much by being stupid and fucking all these men. At the same time, you, you constantly cry every night and you destroy my sleep. That's how you know V doesn't care about me. She only thinks about herself. It's sad, man. It's very, very sad. VJ only thinks about herself. It's sad, man. VJ only thinks about herself. It's very, very sad. It was there. Yeah, man, she's fucking crazy, obviously. And yeah, she's very, very smart. Okay, what's the one way I can get Ivan to cry heavy tears and suffer death to me? Uh, destroy his sleep every day. Like, uh, like that, that way Ivan knows how serious his shit is. I want to see it like so bad. I want to be with him. But even though she wants to be with me, she knows the price I have to pay to be with her, obviously. Yeah, you know, Ivan, if you want to cry and stop, you have to say, you have to suffer death and save me. Otherwise, the crying will never stop. You know what I'm saying? Ivan, what will stop VJ's crying? Uh, me suffering death, obviously. I told you, suffering death is not an easy thing. And VJ knows that, but she's crazy, obviously. She's selfish. Oh, Ivan, I want you to save me. I want to see your light. Please save me. You know what I'm saying? That's why she cries me every night. Because she wants out of Hollywood, obviously. And she wants to be with me. And she's selfish, obviously. You know what I'm saying? So, so Ivan, if you say, yeah, if I save VJ, the crying will stop, obviously. But I'll still be miserable because the mess happened in my life. And so I'm still going to have, like, sleepless nights. I, when I sleep next to VJ, it's going to be a nightmare every night, man. Because I'm constantly thinking, and I have the keys too, I'm constantly thinking about the mess. With VJ and the men, yeah. Remember remember Anakin in uh, in Star Wars, how he couldn't sleep? Yeah, I guarantee I'm going to have nights like that, man. When I'm sleeping next to VJ, I'm going to have these, these VJs like, oh, even what's wrong? I'm like, I can't sleep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I'm thinking about the mess. Obviously. I'm thinking about the mess. And I don't forget, I had, God gave me these fucking stupid keys and vj can read my mind obviously she reads it 24 7 she'll know what i'm thinking obviously 
And that's why I wonder, I'm like, why, I asked God, I'm like, why the fuck would you give me the keys and have these in my mind, man? What the fuck, like, and like, you gave me these fucking keys, man. And I see it a bit of a, as a bit of a curse, yeah. So I, yeah, the crying will stop if when I say Vija, obviously, but I told you, because the mess happened, I will still have some, some, some sleepless nights. <laughs> Oh, so that's that's how you know VJ's evil, man. She's fucking evil, man. Yeah, I even like, you know, what I'm saying if you don't save me, I'm I'm going to I'm I'm going to destroy your life, man. I'm gonna cry heavy tears to you every night, man. Yeah, she's evil, man. You know, because VJ knows I can run off, hence why she's so desperate. She's willing to destroy my sleep, obviously. I even why is VJ crying tears? Because she just she, she she doesn't want to be left behind. She wants to be with me. She wants to see the light, and she she she, she wants my billions, obviously, off my book. VJ knows I have the keys. Yeah, I, I, it's too late for me. I fucked up. I'm stupid. You know what I'm saying? I sold out when I had the keys. And Ivan has the keys. You're also book. He can make his easy billions. His easy I don't know, $10 billion off his book. And that's why VJ is crazy, obviously. She's willing to destroy my secret man. She doesn't even care, man. Like, sometimes I sleep. You know what I'm saying? Before I talk about Zane's here. Sometimes I sleep, obviously. And I, and I close my eyes. And I try to sleep. And I hear like this like heavy crying and my heart's pumping. I'm like, oh my god, VJ does VJ's blind. She doesn't care about my sleep. She doesn't even care about my sleep at all. She just cries to me all night long, like all night long, just annoying my sleep. I'm like, VJ, do you even think about your husband for for, for once in your life? I do, I think, but like uh, I don't want you to run away, you know what I'm saying? I love you, I want to be with you, you know what I'm saying? Even though the mess happened in your life, and I keep fucking all these men, I keep all these I want to be with you, I because I'm selfish, I'm a bitch. And she keeps doing that, obviously. She keeps crying every night. I'm like, VJ, sweetie, I can't sleep. Can you stop crying? And when I say that, she cries even heavier tears. That's how you know VJ doesn't care about me because she's crazy, obviously. She's a crazy woman. She doesn't care about my sleep, my mental health, my physical health. She doesn't even care about the mess happening in my life because she's crazy. Whereas me, I actually care. Hence why I don't go around fucking woman. And then VJ, she keeps fucking man. She keeps crying. I'm like, VJ, why are you crying me every night if you keep fucking man behind my back, man? It's a very, very weird thing to, to do, man. You cry every tear to your husband, and at the same time you keep these men's number, you keep fucking them. Who does that? Who the fuck does this? It's, it's a bitch thing. It's, that's the definition of a bitch. Don't hate me, VJ. That's the cold, hard definition of a bitch, man. Someone who's selfish and who wants her full cake. You like the attention from the men, hence why you keep seeing them behind back and fucking them. And you keep crying every night, like, you know, I might see, like, so you want your full cake. You're selfish, obviously. You're a selfish woman. Yeah, as I would never do that to VJ. If I fuck a lot of women behind VJ's back, I would never do what VJ does and cry to her every night and uh, know her see like that. And VJ does that to me because she's crazy, obviously. She's a crazy woman. Yeah, man. And as I speak right now, she's still crying. That's why what? As I speak right now, she's still crying. That's why what? VJ is a crazy woman. Yeah, man. Anyways, not about the VJ topic. So remaining, I don't know, the remaining, I don't know, 17, 18, 19 minutes, I'm going to talk about Zane, so I'll end the video here. And I'll watch my video before you guys. This quick 30-minute video, and then I will what? I will go to bed and sleep, and I'll upload this 30-minute part. And t today, I'll, I'll make a video probably tomorrow, early morning, I'll make it. Just, just depends. If I get my check today, I will most likely make a video when I wake up. Wake up around four or five o'clock in the evening. I'll make a video as soon as, soon as I, I'll make it. I'll wake up around four. I'll make a video right away when I wake up. A full video, and I'll upload it, and I'll get my beer and smokes. Obviously, and I'll watch some rad rad, and then to, and tonight I'll probably and tonight if I get the check tonight I'll just uh, continue the um, binge the rest of Rings of Power. I only have two episodes left. I have episode seven, episode eight left to binge. Then after it rings of power, I will watch Andor, the Star Wars show. I'll watch that. Yeah, let's talk about Zanus. So once I make the money off my book, I will fund my movie for $985 million. Biggest movie budget ever made. Even bigger than Rings of Power. Rings of Power was funded for a billion dollars, but that's a billion dollars for like four seasons, four or five seasons. So even that's not as not as not as top notch as my movie. I'm I'm funding my three movies for $95 million. They're gonna honor technology, yeah man.
What an amazing what? An amazing, uh, an amazing one, amazing movie. So the $985 million will go towards what? It will go towards paying all the crewmen and all the actors their salaries. $2,000 gift card, $300 gas card, the CGI technology for special effects, $400 plus million dollars towards special effects. The IMAX cameras, you code for the cameras. Costumes, the costumes, <clears throat> armor and weapons and machines for creating the 3D print prosthetic mask. It's all going towards it. The food, luxury buffet. The, the uh, what? The kitchen equipment, the pavilion tents. Obviously, the table and chairs for for dining, you know what I'm saying? Portable bathrooms, portable showers, trailers, portable laundry machines for everyone to wash their clothes. It's all going towards it. From there. Yep. The photography studio. Renting out the photography studio, right? The photography, the, the photography studio equipment, the cameras, the fans, all the stuff for, 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 the, for the magazine ads featured on my website. The photography cameras, I'm gonna get like a nice, I don't know, six thousand dollar cameras with nice lenses for the for the pictures. Remember that picture when you saw all the, the, the entire the cast of Rings of Power featured? They were featured on a digital ad magazine. They were, they, yeah, you're looking at ads like that from for my for my work for my company. Actors do a couple ads every year, and they get it gets they get they're featured on my website. That's gonna be nice. You have the news section, you have this ad magazine, ad, and the actors are featured when you're doing your website. Something cool like that. That way, your company's more professional, obviously. Yeah, but we featured my stars will be featured me on the magazine ads on my website, the billboards in front of my building, and then in the city in Vancouver. I might consider putting it worldwide. It'll cost me immediate tens of millions. It's a waste of money. I'm not gonna do that. But I'll put it around Vancouver and like my uh, in front of my building. That way, everyone in Vancouver sees it. I'm not gonna put it worldwide. I'll just put put it on my website for the world to see. I'm gonna be featured on my post, my nice posters, my nice framed posters or paper posters and paper posters. They're also gonna be featured on the four figure case covers, my movie, as well as the billboards for the red carpet. Actually, gonna be featured on all that. Yeah, the photographer's gonna be hard at work taking all those pictures. I don't pay you for nothing. I'm gonna put you to work, man. Right. Yeah, the character ad shoots, the weekly character ad shoots featured every week. I want weekly different weekly character ad shoots featured on my website for the actors to build buzz for the movie. Find a way to put your photographer's work. I don't pay a lot of money for nothing. I'm not, I'm not going to pay you 3 k for nothing. I'm going to put you to fucking work. Yeah, it's all going towards it. Peter Jackson will be featured with me. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see how he's going to be. Peter Jackson will be featured with me for just the business ad shoots. That's it. The first two years. The first year, and so will be featured with me with my seven team, and the second year will be featured with me and my stars. Obviously, but he won't be featured on the character weekly ads the fourth year because he's, Peter Jackson is not is not an act. He's not he's not acting. He's not my star. He's not my star actor. He's my star director, and so he won't be featured on the character ads. But he'll be featured on the business ads the first two years, with me and, and my wife and the seven team and the actors. This is top notch. Or Mel Gibson, whoever I hire. Yeah. No, the documentary, right? Yeah, ten million is going towards the documentary for what? For 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 for, for yeah, I'm gonna have to buy. I'm gonna rent a good like fifteen uh fifteen like, um independent movie cameras. A good independent movie cameras are cheap. You can get a good independent movie camera for fifty grand, forty fifty thousand dollar cameras you can rent. Whereas the IMS cameras are like four hundred five hundred thousand each. Man, they're fucking expensive. <laughs> It's very, very expensive. Whereas for the documentary, I'm going to rent the independent movie cameras. The, the cameras that are used to film independent movies, rent those ones. Rent a good, a hire a good 15 cameramen to film, a 15 cameraman dock crew. It's all going towards the special effects for the dock, feeding, feeding all, all, all the cameramen and then and, 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 and the, on the hotel seat. It's all through the 10 million dollar budget. Yeah, it's all funded through the 95 million budget. Yeah. That's why Peter Jackson will be shocked. Ivan, how much money are you giving me, by the way, for, 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 for the movie? Yeah, Peter, 95 million. Like, Holy shit, 95 million dollars? This is the biggest budget ever. This is the most expensive we've ever made, Ivan. Like, you're looking at something unheard of, even better than Avatar in my Middle Earth. Yeah, man. If you look at something amazing for my Warbling. Something better than Pandora, guys. Pandora Avatar. Pandora Avatar was very was beautiful. And think of something better than that. Remember those two pictures I post on Twitter? You guys saw those pictures, right? Yeah, think of a world like that. For, for, it looks natural, but it looks very amazing. 
The North, the South, the South is cursed. Look at an amazing story, man. You look at an amazing story, yeah. You look at an amazing story, yeah, man. Aerotap, the king of the South, Ephesus, the king, battle of the mountains. You look at an amazing story, yeah, man. Aerotap, the king of the South, Ephesus, the king, battle of the mountains. Remember that picture I showed you? Yeah, I think it's on after the salt. You got this this misty, this mist. And Aerith, and once you pass that mist, you're an Aerith surface. King of the South. I will tell you, yeah, the South will be, when you watch the movie, the South will be beautiful too. But it's not the North. The South is cursed. It's a different atmosphere. It's, 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 so it'll be, it'll look amazing in the South, obviously, but it's cursed. It's not the same as the North. You see what I'm saying? The North is holy, beautiful, peaceful terrain, whereas the South is cursed. It's not the same as the North. And that's what looking at the masters that I wrote, yeah, man. Look at an amazing story that I wrote. An amazing masterpiece that I wrote. Yeah, man. You're looking at an amazing masters that I wrote. Yeah, man. And that's why the, the Zayn's documentary will be the best documentary out of all my documentaries. Because I'm going to be creating all the demonic characters, the warbling, the, the costumes, the weapons. I'm going to, John Howland, I'm going to draw all that. You're looking at an amazing uh, documentary. Behind the scenes of pre-production, production. production you look at an amazing documentary. Yeah. Creating Aratat. The most horrific villain in movie history. Ephesus. For Fool. Morale. Bow. The Crows. You know what I'm saying? They look at an amazing story. And the bats. The demon bats. The demon wolves. They look at an amazing story. Yeah. I'm going to tell Peter. Peter. Even though I want Aerith and them to look to, to, to wear costumes and masks. I don't want them. I don't want them wearing that kind of, the kind of costumes and masks. That the orcs wore in your Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Otherwise, the movie won't be as good. So I'm saying, as the orcs in, in the Rings of Power, no offense, they look pretty cheesy. They look very cheesy in, in, in Rings of Power. Like Peter, I don't want that Rings of Power orc look. No, the orcs in Lord of the Rings look pretty good, but the ones in Rings of Power look a little cheesy. Look, Peter, even though I want Aerith to, to wear the costume and mask, I want I want them to create a, a very very professional mask like that. Devil being an animal, that way they look more scary. They look more. They look better. They don't look a bit cheesy. So there. So even though they're gonna they're gonna wear a prosthetic mask, it's a professional, more professional mask. But I can wrap the best machines for printing the best masks. Like that Delby Nile. But man, you know how that Delby Nile look very real and like a demon? Yeah. Three times scarier than that. They look they wear the prosthetic mask. And I apply the four hundred million dollar swords, CGI special to wear those masks, and they look they're demons. But they don't look cheesy, a little cheesy like Azog. No, they're not full on CGI uh, um, wolves and bats. They wear prosthetic mask. But I'm applying the special effects towards the math. That's why they look amazing. Like demons, obviously, but they look more natural. I don't know what I'm doing. That way they look better. You have them full CGI beings, and the movie won't be as good, man. Stay away from full CGI air at that, Peter. I know you're a fan of CGI, Peter. I don't want him full CGI. Mix it. Mix the practical effects with the, with the, with the, with the, with the special effects. But what? Make sure what? Make sure you have them wear a prosthetic mask. A professional pros uh, pro 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 prosthetic mask. Like what? A professional prosthetic mask. A professional prosthetic mask. Like what? Like what? A, pro a professional prosthetic mask. Like what? Like that Dolby Nabla I showed you guys. I'm saying. Yeah, so let's so before I end the video here, I'm gonna let's talk contracts, and I'll end the video here in a good hour, no, eight nine minutes. I'll end the video here. Ten minutes here, ten nine minutes. I'll end the video here. So Peter Jackson want to pay him eighty five million dollars for the movie, which is a good one oh five one oh six million in his own money. That's a good paycheck for Peter, and I'll give him zero point six percent of the profits or a four fifty million dollar deal for the royalties. A flat four fifteen million dollar deal. So he signed his five hundred million dollar deal in Canadian money, which is like five thirty million in New Zealand money. That's a good paycheck for Peter Jackson. This is more than double what he made for the rings. Then Mel Gibson, I'll pay him fifty eight million, and I'll give him a flat two seventy million dollars of the profits, or zero point five percent of the profits, which is about the same amount of money. That's a good deal for Mel Gibson. Because, I told you, because Peter's greedy, his agent's going to ask for something crazy like $700 million in the rolls. I'm like, no, Peter. 
this is my final offer. I'm not going to give you $700 a roll because if I do, you're going to, you're affecting my 1%. I'm only giving away about 1% of my money to the, to the, to, the, to, the, to my stars. Where all Toro, my seven team, and you, you need to be considerate. You need to think about the other. Yeah, yeah, but I, they're not worth your roll, these man. <laughs> you might tell me that. Just give all that money to me. I'm like, no, Peter. Peter, you're not worth any more than four hundred dollars of my money either. It goes both ways. He's like, you're, you're not worth any more than four hundred dollars of my money either, Peter. Yeah, but I, I'm, not, I'm much better than these actors. They're small compared to me. Yeah, they're small compared to you. That's why I'm paying way more now. But you're pushing it. I'm not gonna pay you more than four fifty million dollars, Peter. You rip me off. You think I'm gonna sign to a seven a seven hundred million dollar deal for the Rollies? You're crazy, man. If I do that, I now I, I no longer have room to pay John Favreau's one hundred million in Rollies. They've loaned his forty five million. Other members of my seventeen, they're five point five, they're eleven million dollars, ten million dollars, whatever it is. And my actors, my stars, you need to be considerate, Peter. So, yeah, but Ivan, those actors are not worth your Rollies, Ivan. What is wrong with you? You know, it's like it's guaranteed when I sign my first, my when I sign my like eleven stars, guaranteed like Peter Jackson, he might pull me over. I even I want to talk to you for a sec. I'm like, what, Peter? I even what is wrong with you? Are you fucking crazy? You're paying John by eight point nine million dollars. He's not even worth that, Ivan. He's only worth like a million, like five free movie, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? You're paying Carl Urban four point five. Ivan, Carl Urban's on ASAP. He's not worth that. That's an ace or stuff. He's only worth like seven fifty, eight hundred grand k for your for your movie. Ivan, that's good enough. I'm like Peter, if you pay Carl Urban eight hundred k, man, he won't work as hard, man. He'll work hard, Ivan. Don't worry about it, man. He made peanuts for the rings. He worked hard for me, yeah. But if you want him to work harder for you, Peter, and just completely destroy the role, lose himself in character, pay him his millions. The way he works hard for me. At the same time, if you Peter, if you, Peter, if you want this company to be better than Hollywood, we need to pay the actors more money than what Hollywood pays on average. That way. That way, that way, that way, Sky Source is a better company than Hollywood. Once Sky Source be a better company than Hollywood, pay the actors for money. That way, they work harder for you. Yeah, but Ivan, you're crazy. You're paying Carl Urban four point five million dollars. That's an ace for salary, Ivan. And you're also giving him five point five million dollars of your royalties, Ivan. You sign him to a one point five million dollar deal for the game. You're fucking crazy. Two fifty k for the merch, and like speaking fees, Ivan. You're being far too generous with your actors, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that were me, I'd pay Carl Urban like 800k, 750k. That's good enough, Ivan. You don't have to pay him for my money. Also, so work hard for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Peter, Peter, Peter. I said it a few times. You're getting greedy. It's easier for you to say that when you sign your final year deal. If you pay Carl Urban for my money, and you give him five hundred dollars a roll, he's gonna work harder for you. He'll destroy the role of Cornelius. You're looking at better. He'll. You're looking at better acting than what you even got for what. For your Lord of the Rings, he'll, he'll, he'll work even harder for you than one of even did for Lord of the Rings almost 30 years ago when he played the role of Ammer. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You want John Baega to work harder for you and destroy the role of Sassatonius as my cousin. Pay him $8.9 million. I know, Peter, he's not worth $8.9 million. I'm not stupid. He's only worth like a million five for my movie. I, I'm, I know, Peter. But I want my company to bear in Hollywood, hence why you pay him more, pay him more money. That way, you, you solidify Sky as a better company than Hollywood. You give him a nice five hundred dollars a roll. He's gonna work harder, John Boyega. He'll destroy the role of Tassitonius. As Peter, it's not fair that let, let, that me, VJ, you know what I'm saying? Me, VJ, John Favreau, Dave Filoni, and you know what I'm saying? And you were all making way more than the actors. You know what I'm saying? These actors get their flat salary. Me, I'm, I'm taking home my billions, and you're taking home your hundreds of millions. It's not fair, Peter. Ivan, the money that you're giving all those actors, just give it all to me. He might tell me that. I'm like, Peter, you're fucking greedy, man. Why do you like taking all the pie for yourself and leaving everyone else with peanuts? What is wrong with you, man? And Ivan, Ivan, you're doing the same thing, too. Yeah, Peter, I'm, doing, yeah, Peter, I'm taking all the pie. But I'm a son of God. It's my money. I'm worth the money. But I'm sharing some of my wealth with you guys. Well, you didn't share shit with the lawyer and actors. You took it all for yourself. Cause you, so, Peter, you like you like always taking all the money for yourself and leaving everyone else with, with peanuts. Because guarantee Peter might tell me, oh, Ivan, the, the, I don't know, the $80 million is worth of role that you're giving all, the, all your 15 stars. Just give all that money to me, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? Give me a good, like, $500 million in all these Ivan, because he's greedy. I was I'm like, no, Peter, I'm not going to do that. What I'm paying you for $450 million is a lot of money. Guys like James Cameron, Martin Scorsese, and what? Quentin Tarantino and Christopher Nolan don't make that kind of money, Peter. Bob Chapek, the CEO of Disney, you know what I'm saying? All those guys. They was as if they don't make that kind of money, Peter. Really, Ivan? Yeah, they don't make that kind of money, Peter. You're being greedy, Peter. Stop being greedy. Since Aaron. You signed the biggest contract ever, pretty much, for a director. 
as Peter Jackson's contract would create a shockwave in the Hollywood industry. Everyone will be shocked by how much, holy shit, Peter Jackson signed a massive deal. Yeah, man. Peter Jackson signed a massive fucking deal. A massive deal. It's, a, it's the biggest movie contract ever. Ever for Peter Jackson. Yeah, man. You also get your speaking for your earnings, and you get your two million for the release. So I gave Peter a fucking good deal. But worst comes to worst, if Peter is like, if I sense Peter is very angry, I'll give him a piece of the pro. I'll give him uh, uh, some money for the merch. I, I might give him a flat, maybe three million for the merch. I can do that. Sign him to a five three million dollar deal, which is like five sixty seventy in New Zealand money. If you want, if Peter's very, if if I sense Peter is angry. You can give him like a flat three million, but ch I'm not, chances are I'm, I'm not going to do that though. As Peter will accept my live into deal, this is a fucking this is a nice contract. I don't make this on Yeah, this is more than double what you made for the Rings, Peter, almost thirty years ago. And Peter has that smile on his face. He's happy. You know what I'm saying? He gets his ten mil bonus. And I take him out to nice dinner. I take him out to nice dinner. And the second year when I fly in on my stars and they sign a nice contract, I will take all my actors out to a nice dinner at Boston Pizza. They eat their nice food. Hey guys, pick one meal that you want here. Get your burger, your fries, you can get your ribs, your fries, you can get your pizza. All you can drink, all you can drink, uh, soft drinks. Don't have them have water. No, you guys can get you, you guys can get water, you can get soft drinks as much as you want. It's on me. Uh, I can easily afford it. Take take the act, take your stars out to a nice dinner. That way you give them a good experience. And have a limo driver take you and all your stars to a nice dinner. And when when we're in the when, when we're in the limo, I'll have wine, I'll have services of wine. And I'll, I'll, I'll do a okay, I'll do a toast with the actors. Hey guys, let's do a toast. Cheers. We're, we're, you're, you're, welcome to the Zane's family. You're, 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 we're we're going to be movie stars. Cheers. Me and me just do, do, do a cheers with all the actors. All the stars. Those have been top notch. And they're all happy. And they're experiencing fame with the fans. And they'll be, they'll be training with me and VJ at the restaurant. It's been crazy. Yeah. And after they, I take them outside dinner. I, I, the limo driver takes the actors in my, my 300 minute condo. And I pair it up with the actors. Hence why I'm gonna have to have I'm gonna have, the second year I'm gonna I'm gonna my team's constantly gonna have to go to the what? To the SAQ and buy a bunch of like I don't know, buy a good like 20 bottles of liquor, man, for the party. 20, 25 bottles of liquor. If you have 18 people, you gotta get a good like 20, 25 bottles of liquor. Here, okay, K John or whatever it is, or or, or my or my, my team. Here's my business card. Go to the SAQ, take you can take my car. Take my car. Don't have them take your car. That way they don't get angry. That way they don't get angry about gas. Okay, just take my car. Don't crash my fucking car. Take my car. Obviously. Or I can have them take their car and I'll give them money for gas. I can give them like $20 for gas. Go to the SQ and buy all the stuff. Come on, Cavalier. 